Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome to another episode of Saturday Coding Challenge. And this is the first video of our Saturday Coding Challenge. I know there was already a challenge, but that was a test challenge to see how we're gonna progress in these challenges. Yes, of course, we do have a winner. He has already received his prize money as well and he's super happy. And you can be the next person to win this prize money and of course can prepare for your upcoming next interview. So let's move forward and this challenge is termed as easy as mentioned in the previous video we are going to go for the saturday coding challenge in uh, easy medium hard and then little bit extreme hard all of these challenges are pretty much common questions in interviews like amazon google microsoft and all of that so pretty easy stuff okay so let's start with this easy challenge but before that make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can get a chance to win at my youtube channel there is no entrance fees you can try your luck so there we go okay so first and foremost, let's see what the challenge itself is. It's a pretty easy challenge. Then we're going to look for rules of the challenge. Then we're going to see how the winners are going to be picked up in this challenge and how many winners we are going to pick up. So uh, let me bring up my iPad here. So this is the iPad as termed. This challenge is named as Target Sum by 2. Remember the name here because there will be future challenges which will almost be similar but will involve a little bit number game there. So this challenge name is target sum by two. It is considered as one of the very entry level challenges in competitive programming as well as in the coding interviews as well, but will teach you a lot of subjects about data structure. And of course, traversing the data structures as well. So here you can see we have got an array in this particular set of problems, you are given up an array. Now, these array can be given up by a variety of uh, examples. Probably the challenge might say, hey, there are some X group of men and each man is having an age. Again, that's a simple array. So no matter what kind of stories you put up with these challenge, the ultimate aim is to have an array with certain set of numbers. For the simplicity, these uh, numbers are always an integer. Surely we can have floats and double values, but usually the integers are used here. So if somebody says there is an age of uh, numbers here for age or maybe for exam marks, there can be a ton of situation there. So ultimately, we have got this array here, 4, 5, 12, minus 2, 8, and 9. So this is the array. Now again, after this array, a number is given to you. Let's just say the number is 10. Now this number is going to be important. So what you are usually asked, you need to traverse this array and figure out if you can find any two numbers whose sum is targeted equal to this 10. Okay, now in this case it is pretty easy, like if I just look for change color here and I can see that these are the two numbers that I can just pick up here. So uh, minus 12, uh, 12 and minus 2. So I have to return an array which consists of these two numbers which when are summed together is equal to this targeted number which is 10. Again, I can put up a lot of stories with this one, I don't want to really do that, but this is here. Now. This is your challenge. Now the solution. So how we're gonna write the solution? It's absolutely simple. Uh, first and foremost, uh, again, for this particular problem, I'm looking up only for video solutions. So just hold up your mobile phone, try to define a solution, or there are a ton of free software available online which can record your screen, prepare a presentation, or maybe a simple document file, PDF file, whatever you want to. I'm looking only for video solution. First and foremost, uh, let's define the rules up here. So first and foremost, I'm only looking up for a video based solution. The highest weightage is for explanation. So explain properly. Don't just write the solution, explain the solution properly. And we are going to pick up two winners this time. And uh, both winners should have a video. And the prize money is going to be 1000 INR for each. So that means a total of 2000 rupees. Uh, but Every individual will get a thousand INR via Google Pays, UPI, whatever the payment method suits to you. Okay. While explaining the answer, here are a couple of rules that you have to follow. Uh, first and foremost, uh, mention your name, uh, who is explaining. Maybe if you want to mention, mention your university name in case that's totally optional, but make sure you mention your name very clearly, very precisely in the presentation or PDF that you are giving. In the second, 
make sure you mention this particular video, the link of the video as well, as well as uh, the name of the challenge. Like this, the challenge name is uh, here, target some by two. So make sure you mention the challenge name, my name, and this particular video as well. So this is compulsory. You cannot skip that part. Okay. In the third part, explain the problem. Okay. So make sure you explain the problem here. Explanation of problem is one of the biggest key factor while giving such interviews. Interviewers usually don't look just for answer, they also try to look that whether this person has understood the problem properly or not. So explain this problem again. And in the fourth, just explain your approach while solving this. Don't just solve it yet. Explain the approach of solving this. And in the final fifth, just write the code that actually is going to solve this problem. Again, don't just write the code, explain each line by line that how you're writing this code and what makes you to solve uh, this particular problem. Again, you can choose any programming language for this particular problem. Feel free to choose Java, Python, PHP, JavaScript, whatever suits to you. You can feel free to choose that one. And here we go. Now also, I would like to give you a small hint for this problem. Okay, I know most of you don't need this hint, but I would still like to give you. Now, I am looking for optimized solution for this particular problem. Okay, I'm not looking for just a solution, I'm looking for an optimized solution. So make sure to give a little bit weightage to big O, as well as what could be the solution, a variety of ways for solving this problem. Again, quick hint here, I'm looking for optimized solution. So there we go. Uh, welcome to the Saturday Coding Challenge. Again, uh, don't wait for the last moment to submit your solution. Please don't do that because I always look for uh, the solution that are having the best explanation. So don't wait for the last moment. Give them a priority and try to submit your solution. You will find a submission link at the bottom of this video. If you are submitting, uh, again, the submission line will close up around 6 p.m. on Monday. So it is today uh, 12, it is Saturday. So on 14th of January 2019, uh, Monday, uh, by around 6 p.m. the lines will be closed. The form will not accept any more input. I am again saying around 6 p.m. So don't take it as a dot. Try to submit it before. This is not a college assignment that I'll wait for just exact last second for it. I may close up the line before five minutes as well. So again, you are not judging the rule here. Uh, so make sure you take participation in that. Again, I really, really need your shares on this video so that I can bring up and include more things, maybe goodies, maybe merchandise in these uh, coding challenges. So quite a lot of talk, isn't it? So that's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one.